What's up you guys and welcome back to another BBL video. I know it is long overdue, um, but today I am officially six months and two days. I still can't believe it. <laughs> I'm on my way to a doctor's appointment, not with Dr. Campos, but with another doctor. So I've been having like really bad tailbone pain and it started happening around four months and I thought maybe it was because I started like sitting down around then but it's not like my ass cheeks that hurts it's like my tailbone like little below where he injected me so if I'm like sitting down and like leaning forward it's not as bad but if I'm sitting straight for like a good amount of time it starts hurting and the worst is when I have to get up like when I have to stand up it hurts so bad and it doesn't feel normal at all and hopefully you know this is something that's not too serious if this happened to you guys before can you guys please comment down below and let me know like like what I can do about it or what exactly is it but um it's definitely it's not it's not getting any better i haven't told dr compost about it yet um i'm just gonna go see this other doctor and hopefully they can help me out if not then i will probably reach out to him and at the end of this video i will show you guys my results now i'll answer a few questions but yeah let me hurry up and get to this appointment and i will get back to you guys and let you guys know how it went so obviously it's the next day at my appointment they did x-rays and um they said everything looked really good and so they didn't know exactly like what was causing the pain and they tried to prescribe me um ibuprofen which i didn't take because i already have that at home and so i ended up reaching out to dr compost and he did get back to me, which is, he's always been so good at communication. Every time I had a question, he was so quick to get back to me. And so I let him know what was going on. And he pretty much told me to go in for a consultation, which I can't make it out there right now. And he said that he would prescribe me some medication for now. And he said it's usually because the nerves are swollen and it can also be a neuroma due to scar tissue and pretty much he said that the medication that he's going to prescribe me is going to help so i'm just waiting on that i don't know he hasn't read my last message so i don't know when i'm gonna get the prescription i don't know if i did mention to you guys that like once i'm up like and standing i'm fine it's just when i'm sitting and having to get up and then when i just sit like straight you know putting pressure on my tailbone and I know my baby hairs are popping right now, but I am gonna go ahead and answer a few questions. A lot of the questions that I did get asked actually did another video on that, so I'll just link that video down below. So I'm just gonna answer a few questions, and then at the end of this video, like I said, um, I'll tell you guys how my body looks now, and I'll tell you guys like how I'm currently feeling. Um, okay, so... First question, where the question's at? So I did get asked a lot, when did I start like sitting down and laying on my back and sides? So I actually started like around, around three or four months and, but when I'm driving, I still sometimes use the booty pillow. And when I'm sitting on like a hard surface, like this couch that I'm sitting on is kind of hard. Like my butt gets a little sore. And and when I lay on my hips, they get sore. So but I do lay on like on my butt and hips, but I'm like constantly moving like to try to get comfortable. Question number two, do I still wear my faha? So I don't wear it 24 seven. I stopped wearing my faha 24 seven, I would say like around four months. But so now that I'm six months, I still wear it, but just not all the time. I only wear it like once or twice every two weeks. But if I'm not wearing my faha, I do wear my waist trainer like three times a week. And but there is weeks that I go without my faha or waist trainer. So someone asked, do you do any workouts? Wondering if it maintains the shape. 
So I did start doing little workouts, but then I stopped because I'm trying to focus more on trying to gain weight. I don't have a diet, like I'm not on a diet. I pretty much eat whatever I want and hoping that it goes to my ass. Um, another question, someone asked how long did it take for my butt to get soft? And I would say like around three months, that's when it started getting soft. But when I like try to run, it's like hella jiggly. So, and it's kind of sore too. So like when I run, I'm always like holding my ass. <laughs> Another question, how long did it take for the itch to stop? So again, it was like around three or four months for me. But I do notice like when I wash dishes, I like to wash dishes with really hot water. And my freaking stomach and my back will be on fire and it will start itching. And I'm sure that's because of the lipo, but I'm not sure how long that is gonna last. Okay, and I am just gonna answer this last question. Someone asked if I am happy with my results now that I'm six months post-op, because they do say like at six months, like six months to a year, you know, it's your final results and you should be like fully healed. And which I am not fully healed, so I'll get more into detail about that. And if I'm happy about my results, I'm happy, but I do wish that my butt and my hips were a little bit bigger. I do know that as the months go by, like probably by a year, I'm going to put on a little bit of weight down there. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys my results, but I got to set up this camera somewhere else. So Before I show you guys, um, I do want to weigh myself. So if you guys did watch my previous videos, the day of my surgery, I only weighed 112, girl. So, and then I believe at, when I did my six weeks post-op video, I weighed only 113. And then when I did my, I think it was like four months post-op video, I only weighed, I weighed 116, I believe. So let's check my weight right now. And don't mind all this hair I have on the floor because your girl sheds. Let's see. Ah! That's probably not a lot to some of you guys, but never in my life have I weighed 119 before. Like, this is super exciting for me. My goal weight was 120, but I think it's 125 now. And I'm also going to... Um, when I show you guys my body right now, I'm also going to put like little screenshots of my six weeks post-op video so we can kind of compare them together. Okay, you guys. So this is how the front of my body is currently looking. This is the side view. I was recently looking at pictures of how my body was before and, it's, and it like just amazes me how much my body has changed. It's crazy. I'm really loving my body now. Okay, and then like I mentioned earlier that I'm not fully healed. So my lower back and like and my sides, like this area, they still are a little numb. Like I said earlier, how I sometimes go like a week without the waist trainer, so my back does end up getting tight. Pretty much everything is fine other than that. Like my, like my arms don't hurt anymore. If you guys see my other videos, you will know that I got chin lipo. And which is, I don't feel like it's like super snatch, but it is still way better than my chin before. And and then I think I believe I showed you guys like how my scars look before but right there's that one right there and here is this one and then you can't really see this one that one and the one in the like the back is pretty much gone and the one that I really don't like is the one that's above the crack which is not really noticeable it's a little smaller than the one right here but I'm trying to think what else um, I wanted to tell you guys, but I think that's pretty much it right now. So yeah, I'm still not fully healed. 
but I'm still loving my results and it's still totally worth it. I will be doing a year post-op video too. All right, you guys, that is it for today's video. Hopefully this video was helpful. Please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Please comment down below if you guys have any questions. And if you guys are not subscribed to my channel, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Turn on your post notifications. That way you'll get notified every time I post a new video. You know, all that juicy stuff. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, babes.